God is alive. Amen. Right? When you go away, maybe for school, military, or work, and come back to find that life kept moving on and nothing is the same. God is alive. Right? Or how about when you are accused of things that are an illusion of someone else's imagination, but you are charged and persecuted and tortured and sat and belittled and then finally crucified. God is alive, right? Every day it seems that one of our great human family faces challenges, trials, and tribulations. I can easily put into doubt this very important question. And believe me, it is not always easy to answer yes. So how do we do with them? How do we cope? How do we keep that faith? In Philippians 4, 6 it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by petition and prayer with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. In other words, have faith. Without faith, what purpose is there to this process? And with faith, as tiny as that of a mustard seed, we can move mountains. Jesus walked our earth and showed us how. He was man's revelation to the how of life. He was humble. He was compassionate. He was never attached to any particular outcomes. He never worried. And the greatest thing he did was love. He loved by his life, and he loved by his death. God is alive to those who believe. Do you? We now have the blessed opportunity to honor our God by emulating the greatest way short who ever walked our earth. Can you be humble? Can you be compassionate? Can you love without pretensions, expectations, or conditions? If you can say yes and practice this, then yes, God is alive.